With its unique freeform modular system, the new Master Case Maker 5 from Cooler Master allows unparalleled flexibility with its adjustable internal layout and exterior customization options. Learn more about how you can start customizing your own case by following the link down in the description. My name's Chris, and I'm the owner of Red Mist. I just received Red Mist Part 2. It uh, kind of inspired me to finally start to try this on, on my own. I have a friend, Lindsay, and she has a build that also was put together by Jay. It was the AMD water cooling build. She needs an upgrade. She wanted to upgrade it to an Intel platform. So I decided this time I want to do it. And I, I might have run into some problems. So, all right, let's, why don't we start here? Show me what you had in mind. All right, so what I did was initially when you had this in here, this was flipped on its side. So right, you the had fitting. The, the fitting here and the one that's the, uh, that screwed into the res was actually facing that way. Okay, so you turn this so that you have an easy drain. Right. Okay, and now your challenge is you've got to go from here to here. Yes. And then you were trying to go from here to here. Correct. Initially, after I had all the hardware, um, I started practicing bends just that had no purpose. They were just bends, just seeing how, how it felt to bend the tubing under heat. And that didn't really cause any issues. Uh, the problems I ran into were when I actually had to start to bend with a purpose. These tubes needed to start in one area, end in the, in the other, and I was having a tough time measuring without using really anything other than my eyes and just trying to make this soft, malleable plastic tubing pretty much work the way I wanted it to. And unfortunately, uh, more times than not, it didn't. Um, we could also get this a much sharper 90 if you okay. want. Um, did you do this one here too? Yeah. Okay. And I think the thing that people really underestimate is just how precise these tubes really have to be when you're putting them in. Um, anyone can take tubing and bend it, but when it has to start somewhere and end somewhere and they're facing totally opposite directions, I think people underestimate um, just how difficult that could be. So yeah, I mean, there's a couple things you could do here. It depends on how anal you want this to be, like being an angle going back, or if you wanted to actually put a, like a bend in it so it kind of goes back and then straight even with the reservoir. I mean, that's up to you. But obviously the two hardest bends you have going here is this one and that one. On the flip side though, the nice thing is there's really no right or wrong way to doing a build like this. They're all unique because they all have their own specific imperfections. People ask me all the time to do a bending tutorial and my response is the same every time they say it. I would be the worst teacher because I'm literally like, just look at the thing and bend it and right. put it in. It is much more complicated and much more, uh, it's much more of a talent and almost an, an artist, an, art, an artistic skill uh, than it is just bend a tube, put it in a hole and you're good to go. He watched me do some bends to see, obviously, what am I doing? Um, and he could see that I wasn't using all the techniques. I was using some. Uh, when I was bending the tube, I was kind of afraid. Uh, so I ended up bending more of like, more on the, on the sense that I don't want to ruin this tube, so I'm just going to let it do its thing. And when I saw Jay bend the tube, I could see him kind of forcing the tubing to do what he wants it to do rather than rather than the tubing telling him what it's going to do. I learned you can be much more creative. Um, I also learned that even the most experienced uh, PC builders, you know, can make a few mistakes. All right, so I want to show you something because you talk about being frustrated with the bends not being perfect and such. Right. <laughs> These okay. are the failed bends on Red Mist version 2 going from the radiator to the CPU. But I keep these scraps because I never know if I'm going to need another, like, like we could probably just cut one of these to use on your GPU if we want that tighter bend rather than wasting another right. piece of tube. I think it would right. be a lot less daunting uh, if you look at it with that approach, that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if this 90 is a little bit wider than this 90 or this isn't perfectly straight. Because if you if you try and get that level of perfection in these builds, you're, you're going to go insane. It's never going to happen. I think that might have been a first try. <laughs> 
kind of see. So I'll sure. hang on to this one and I'll let you try it. <laughs> because we still have one more bend on this. Uh, oh yeah. Right? I still have one more bend that would have to make it in, but that's just... Oh, gosh. So as it breaks. Well, <laughs> well, it's kind of like Nick showed me this thing where if you put Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On to like, it makes any scene perfect. Celine <laughs> scene. Did you get it? I think I got him. I don't see him anywhere, but I felt it. Oh, pfft. ew. <laughs> Probably fell in the box. I'm pretty sure I got him. I felt the pfft. Just yank it hard. You're not going to tear it off. Enough. <laughs> Takes a lot to break the silicone. With, and this was, you know, your original idea. So we'll see. Imagine that would be a chrome fitting. So yeah, I'm, all the black ones are a mock-up. Yeah, I'm waiting. It requires a lot of patience. Um, I had to step away from it a few times, even here, uh, because it can get frustrating when when it's it's not that it's expensive. I mean, yeah, you got to buy more tubing, but it's not very expensive. It's it, it's more of a I just I just used an entire ream of tubing and I'm nowhere further than where I started. So I'm much more confident now. I'm gonna to have to keep up this practice though, because I, you know, over time, I'm sure if I don't do it, I'm gonna lose it. I need a, I need a drink before I do this. I need a drink. So that's way off. Yeah. So let's do this then. Let me see. What I normally do is I throw it down. They bounce pretty far. And I kick it. They bounce no. pretty far. Okay, so that's off. When I started this build, I, I even told Jay, I think I'm gonna be done with all these bends in a day. And after that, I'm, I'm gonna start the next step. And I believe his response was a laugh via text. It doesn't have to go all the way against the wall, obviously. Right. It just has to line up with that fitting on top of the reservoir. So is that pretty solid now? Not going pretty, anywhere? Pretty solid, let me get this okay. out of here. And... If, that's, if you're happy with that, I mean. I, I'm fine. Okay, so what that. I would do now then, is I would trim some of this off okay. to get the height proper. The nice thing about the fact that you haven't locked down the tube yet is if the height on this isn't perfect, you can fix it here by sliding this up and down. Right. Right, you, you, you just gotta, you gotta do that with it. I firmly believe that for anyone who's planning to do a build like this, that allotting a, a time for just planning and mistakes is, is going to be is going to be crucial and never give yourself a time frame where you're going to cut it short and start to need to rush. That's one of the best parts about PETG, right? Is it's so soft. Don't worry about it, it's, it'll still seal. It doesn't seal inside the fitting, it seals on the O-ring on the collar. That's, yeah, yeah. Are we good? Yeah. All right. See, I think that gives it a little bit of, like it has a little bit of angle to it. Right? Yeah. It makes anything else that's not perfectly square kind of it kind fit of makes in. up for it, yeah. When there's fluid in there, it, you'll be able to see that bend a little bit better and you'll see that it's gonna add a little depth to it. I think that looks better, in my opinion, than what I had. Than it just going straight back at a non, um, it, it wasn't parallel at any, at any point of the tubing. Right. As long as it's parallel at some point, then the bend makes sense. But that's kind of the cool thing with this though, right? You see some really cool builds that are very abstract. Yeah, they're, I mean, I was trying, I told you, I was trying so hard for everything to be perfect. Right. But most of the builds I like aren't. You yeah. know, they have these like perfect Think, things flaws. Things that even I wouldn't think of to do. Right, it, it, I would try and find, sometimes I try and find the shortest distance between the two fittings. But some folks have, have come up with really cool bends that kind of make a path around the case to get to something. And it really works. And it really works. Like um, Kyle with Awesome Sauce, well, Bitwit now, his build, his pink build, I think looks phenomenal because he didn't just take the shortest distance between A and B. He yeah. really like filled out the case with the fluid and the tubing. Right. And for the, that being his first build was absolutely amazing. No, I was very impressed because obviously that was his <coughs> first build. Yeah, Hell, if it was his 10th build, build, it's yeah, still impressive. Yeah. With Red Mist, there, was, there were hang-ups with, with parts and such that everyone knows about, but that really wasn't the biggest hang-ups. The, the biggest part is, is the, what, what do I want to accomplish? How am I going to do it? And do I like it? I mean, unfortunately, with all of us who are enthusiasts of anything, you start to become like um, I know I am, you're, you're extremely anal, 
you're a perfectionist by fault and uh, it's very hard to uh, sometimes accept that you're not perfect at everything. We tried to do one more bend to straighten out that back bend, which I actually don't dislike. I think it's well, that's and that's what matters. It's, it's being off, but it kind of gives it a little bit of character. It's, yeah, and, and it's, I bent it, so I to be feel fair, like... it's, <laughs> to be fair, it's not off. Um, it's just everything else is straight up ninety, right? And that's like a fifteen, right? But uh, but once the RAM is in there and you have the power plugs in here yeah, and, and everything is going, and the fluids I, in there, it's gonna look great. I think it's gonna be all right. So yeah, Chris had been texting me while he was doing this undertaking. Well, let's call it an undertaking. Um, and yeah, he, he had wanted to come here initially to start it and uh, thought he, we could get it all done in a day. And to be fair, we probably could have gotten the whole thing done in a day since it's not a scratch build. We're reusing quite a few parts. Um, but I really wanted Chris to experience this type of build on his own uh, because I think that that is definitely what gives someone a, a level of appreciation for any sort of trade. And make no doubt about it, this is a trade for sure. To be fair, right, I've known you for a few years now. Yeah. You didn't ask me to do this. I straight up said, bring it over. Right. Because I could tell you were like super frustrated. Yes. And um, if you're anything like me, when frustration reaches a certain level, things get broken. So I figured, you know yeah. what? Like, like it was last night, right? I'm like, all right, bring it over tomorrow. Right. Let's and, do and, this. Yeah, so. and when I got that text, I was like, oh, thank God. Only because it's not your computer. It's no. you're, you're doing this for a friend, and right. it's like now the lo the longer it takes you, and the, the more overwhelming it became, the more it's affecting their gaming time. And yeah, and 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 it's also it's always it's always frustrating when you're uh, you're trying to be good at something, and you're in, you're in a rush to learn a skill. Yeah, and and that's how I felt because this is a skill and. Um, you, you know, I, I see how you can eyeball. You can just eyeball a bend and you get it pretty right on. I eyeball a bend and it becomes a trash bend. So it, <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a mile off. Yeah, so it's just, uh, I mean, I spent a few nights, you know, so I would wait till it cooled off and then I would spend an entire evening wasting tubes. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, the feeling of, I spent three hours on this and I'm no farther yeah. from where I started. Failure after failure after failure. And every time and you, 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 it may not be expensive, but every time you waste a piece of tube, you're like, there was four bucks down there. Right, yeah. and, and it's just the fact that I'm not getting any better. I'm, I'm, I'm making the same mistakes. What am I doing wrong? Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's kind of the thing though. Most people, I'm really fortunate to be in my perspective where I can do this all the time as a hobby and a business, both right. together. But most people are like, this is kind of a one shot attempt. Right, you know? I'm doing this and when it's done, I'm just gonna use it and that's it. Well, I hope, what I hope you took away from today was that, um, you know, it, it, patience, obviously number one, and I'm guilty of losing it, it during some of these builds, uh, but that, um, if, if something starts to get too hard, move on to a different part of the build, yeah. move back to it, and uh, buy way more tubing than you think you need, like double. Yeah. Right? If you think you need six tubes, get 12. It's not that expensive. It's like an extra 30 bucks, and uh, it's worth not having to be like, oh crap, now I need to rush order something. Yeah. And I bought an entire ream of tubing, and it is now all gone. I Just learned for... that I can do whatever I want, and the only thing that can go wrong is a bent tube. So in the end, it, it's supposed to be fun. Uh, it's supposed to be a passion and uh, it should never be a chore. So I guess try and have fun, laugh, don't lose your temper too much. And uh, just know that in the end, it's, it, it's gonna be your little piece of art. Um, it's kind of the whole point of these videos and these, and these series is, Anyone can do it, and I'm trying to show that to people. So when, when folks tell me like, wow, that's so awesome, you know, um, I bet that was really hard. It's like, well, you know, it's actually not as hard as you might think, and uh, you can do it too. So if you guys take anything away from these videos, just know that I'm a regular guy just like you guys, and there was a first time I ever bent tubing, and uh, I was scared. I was worried, and just like anyone else, I think I had too little materials because I ended up having to buy more. Um, so yeah, that's it, and I hope... Uh, as a fly comes in right <laughs> on my forehead. <sighs> oh, I hate this season. It's... I know, right? Cheese. <laughs>
So this is why everyone should pay me money. 